What's up guys, this is Coach Donnie from Elevate Yourself and today we're gonna do the volleyball coach, me, tries Atsumu Mia setting techniques. And we gotta bring back Camilo. You guys remember him from our Nishinoya techniques video and when I tried the Kageyama setting technique video. The reason why I asked Camilo here is because he's a really good middle and always enjoy playing with him, but Great work ethic, and so I just feel like it was an easy target for me to set to. You wanna give a short intro to yourself, Camilo? Ah, uh, sure, yeah, my name is Camilo Garcia, and as Donnie says, I'm a middle blocker, I play college, I've been a middle all my life. Also a huge Haikyuu fan, I've seen the show way too many times to count, but <laughs> yeah, very excited to these techniques. And you also have to watch his video, this guy lost over 80 pounds. Actually, I lost 150 pounds. 150 pounds. I have a small documentary about that, but it, it details his story about how he went from being sedentary to now being this lean beast of a volleyball player. And I'm 39, I think. 38, I forgot. How old are you, Camila? I'm 41. 41, and we're still training hard and going at it, so no matter what age you are, if you work at it, you can be great at volleyball. Before we get started, we're actually gonna do some warm-up hitting to get my hands calibrated and get his middle hitting calibrated because he's been playing a lot of beach. And then we're gonna go straight to trying three of Asumu's setting techniques. So you guys just saw the clip. I'm gonna try to do the perfect step and then do a back quick set to Camilo. So in, when we did the Kageyama setting technique video, it took me a long time to calibrate my hands and poor Camilo, he had to jump like 80 times before I finally got the set. So today we're gonna try him actually just standing on the target and I'm gonna toss myself and just work on my setting. Once I get my setting down, then we're gonna try him actually jumping with this. So that's where I'm gonna save Camilo's legs. Set. Okay, okay, faster. Okay. I feel like if you try to be aggressive with the cross, it gives me options to hit inside or out. Okay. Rather than if you push it too far, it's gonna technically make, make it harder got for it. me. So be more aggressive, try to aim at the net. Okay, got it, lead yeah. you into the net. Okay, that yeah. felt better. I feel like that, that direction, just a little higher, was perfect. Yeah, okay, okay. that one felt better. Okay. That's perfection. I just missed the ball, but that was perfect. So we have spared Camilo's legs. Now we're gonna try it where he tosses from there. It's the dive from the libero. I do my perfect step, arch my back like crazy, and try to get him fast. Let's okay. see if we can do it. <laughs> ah, too tight. Dude, I'm really feeling it, like right here to have to do that. Like lots okay. of abs we in got this it. one. Oh, close, okay. Oh, okay. That was a little low, huh? That was low, so I had to bend it, but okay. the, the, the location was perfect. That one in here will be perfect. Oh, <laughs> it's a little tight, a little tight. That was good, that was, no, uh, yeah, I can hit that, I can hit that, I can hit that. And we found it. Yeah. Ah, yeah. <laughs> oh, shoot, it's still low, huh? I gotta open up even more oh, you're to right, you. Yeah. If still... I was open more, I could have just twisted my, my okay. body. Because it's at an off angle, you have to open up yeah. a little more to receive the ball here. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I should have waited half a second. I, I swung okay. too early, I swung too early. Yo! -ho! Yo! -ho! That was good contact. If you're experiencing joint injuries like jumper's knee, Achilles tendonitis, or just have a previous injury and want to get back onto the court sooner, then I highly recommend Go Sleeves, like the ones I'm wearing now for the calf sleeves. And I'm gonna let Camilo talk about his experience wearing both the knee and calf sleeves for Go Sleeves. So I have a history of a lot of years of volleyball and I've had a lot of injuries. I have two ACL surgeries and 
a lot of pull calves as a middle. I land a lot, I line hard a few times because sometimes you're rushing and my calves have always been a problem. And uh, Donnie recommended the ghost leaves. As a person that used to get hurt a lot of, and everything, they have worked for me amazing. I have uh, the calf sleeve and the, and the knee under. I think they work amazing. So I think they're pretty cool. And they, the good thing about them, they don't move because they stick to your feet. So you're not constantly adjusting them. So you will last a whole game, you the whole tournament, and you don't even have to move them. A couple words I'll say about that. I played in three-day tournaments where I'll wear the calf sleeve and the knee sleeve together. The day after the tournament, usually I feel broken and beaten, but I felt fresh and I actually was able to get a workout that following day. So it definitely helps with recovery. So if you want to get your own Go Sleep products, use my discount code link below to get 15% off all Go Sleep products and continue to play whether you're young or whether you're kind of middle aged like us or even into your 60s and 70s and continue to pursue your athletic goals. All right, the second one. Man, I'm still in, glad that we actually got that first one down because I feel like my setting was just not on point. But luckily we got the box trick. So for the second one, this is where Asumu gets on one knee and then does a back quick set to the right side. Gonna calibrate my setting, give Camilo a chance to work on his arm swing. And I'm gonna self toss on this one. And I'm gonna think I'm gonna feel it in my right leg. Oh, yeah. oh. Oh, okay. Asumu must have an incredibly strong core. I feel like tightness in my right ab and my left oblique and lat just from doing that. And now I feel it in my lower back, not in like a bad way, but just this whole section. I'm gonna try to get a couple more. Okay. Gotta do it in a way where I'm top facing straight. Okay, I think I'm good. Let's do it. First try. First try, that's always our goal, first attempt. Uh, <laughs> actually, I feel like I went maybe too early for like a 31, but that was, let's keep that tempo. I think you do have to leave a little later because I'm setting from a lower yeah. point. If it was here, it would get there I faster. didn't account for you getting low. I feel like that's what I was missing. Do it again. Uh, too high. Uh, okay. So I'm yeah. pushing it too wide. Yeah, I would say maybe try to keep it a little more on the inside. Okay. Yes! <sighs> Woo! That was good. Is that okay? Yeah. That was a good one. Yeah. Let's try a couple more, see if yeah. we can get like 2% better, because that was already pretty good. Yeah, that was good. good. <sighs> Just one inch, one inch. <laughs> I feel like getting a consistent tempo is the hardest part. Yeah. And they may always, they don't have to worry about tempo. <laughs> yes! I think that's the one, that was clear. If you wanna jump like the Mia Twins and jump set super high and crush the ball on the net, then use my jump training programs linked below, which include a body weight only jump training program so you can train at home, a four week starter program if you're new to weight training and plyometrics, and a 12 month elevation template training program for athletes who are already serious about increasing the vertical jump. Use my discount code link below to get 5% off all my jump training programs so you can start jumping higher today and take your volleyball skill to the next level. Tell me, man, I think my core is more sore than my right quad, but my right quad is pumped up. You see that? It's pumped up from all that, that lunging. So last one is gonna be the freak quick, the Kono Ichi play, which we will reenact one day. That's one of my favorite plays of uh, Haikyuu. So you're gonna stand on the box, and his goal is to be in the air before I set it. It's that, so I have to set it even faster and flatter as a back set. Forward is a lot easier, but the back one has to be tough. And on top of that, for some reason, Atsumu chose to jump while doing it, I don't know why. Maybe because he knows that I'm gonna do it one day, he wants to make it harder on me. So I have to jump and actually try to make it fast. We'll see if we can do the back free quick from Atsumu. <laughs> I jammed my finger on that yeah. one. 
I definitely cannot jump before you touch the ball. To do a back, back 31, that's what you really just gotta be a straight line to the camera. It's gotta be exactly like that. Yeah. 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 The nice thing about tempo is I'm literally just trying to throw it fast. Yeah. And if you're up early, you're already in the air. <laughs> Too high? Definitely high. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that felt good. Felt pretty good. I think the key is I just can't look at my set. Yeah. Like last time, remember the slide? I tried to look and set and then just yeah, rotate it off. Just send it. Okay. All right, got the calibration. We're gonna go live. A little disclaimer. The reason why they can do this minus tempo stuff just because it's anime. These people can stay in the air for 80 years. There's a reason why you don't see a lot of minus tempo in real life. We're gonna give it a shot, but I also respect Camilo's health because <laughs> if he has to jump 30,000 times, and I can't get it fast enough, then we'll just try to go for like a normal traditional 30 back, back quick. So. <coughs> the timing was good. I the feel speed, like yeah, I felt the speed the felt speed good. The speed was good, it was just on the net. <laughs> hey, that was so low, but that low? tempo was perfect. Okay. Woo! Uh. Woo! <laughs> so it was outside, so I feel like if I Hit it, I'm just gonna go at you. <laughs> <laughs> I really saw the hike you targeting. My only target was your head. <laughs> oh, okay, we're getting it. <sighs> that was just an inch too high. I had to okay. reach, but we're there, we're there, we're there, okay. we're there. Yes! 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 Woo! Yeah, okay. baby! You wanna get a quick drink? We can try a couple more? Oh, hell yeah. Okay. That was not my best. I can do better. We got harder. one really good connection where I was parallel to the net and that actually makes it easy to set because I just go straight back. But I'm learning, I think I remember watching from the anime that it's actually slightly off and I have to laser it there. So it's like even harder. So let's try this one. Oh, that's, that's hard to get it fast. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not even gonna try to go across my shoulder. I think the only way I can get it fast is by going straight back. If I try to do this, it's a slower set. Oh, that's high. Oh, Definitely low. Oh. <laughs> I should have swung earlier, I just missed it. I like the set, don't okay. change it. Do it again, do it again. Yes! That was a reach, but it was good. Yes, okay. Yeah. So there was our best attempts at me being Atsumu and then Camila being Osamu. Is that the brother's yes. name? Yes, yes. Oh, I'm pretty sure, yes. Okay, <laughs> correct us in the comments, but we're trying to emulate the Mia twins and we did as best we could. Let me know how they looked in the comments below and also let me know what techniques you would like us to try for other Haikyuu characters. And if you haven't seen the other ones like Kageyama saying techniques and Nishinoya, Make sure you check those videos linked below. You have any in inspirational words to send us off? I see some people, no matter what the age, they start playing because of these videos. Just keep trying. Like, I'm in my 40s and I still work my ass off in the court. I'm in the beach playing. So play volleyball. Just it's a good passion that it will last you a long time. You're going to meet amazing people. Yeah. So yeah, just keep playing more volleyball. It's always fun. Yeah, and I'm going to add something on that too. A lot of people don't want to play because they're afraid they're not going to be good. And to me, that breaks my heart. I want you to play volleyball because you enjoy it and because you have fun, not because you're gonna impress somebody or you think you're gonna be good. Play because you're gonna have fun and you love it just like we do, and you can play forever. We'll see you guys in the next video.